Well, in just a couple of weeks, some of the top squash players from across the country will arrive on our beautiful island to compete in the annual Pacific Northwest Tournament. And as Mikey Walker shows us, Cedar Hill Squash Club is looking to some of their young guns to lead the way. For more than two decades, Cedar Hill Squash Club has played host to some of the island's finest players. But when it comes to the state of the sport nowadays, it's the youth movement taking center stage. Last year we lost a bunch of our, our top squash players, junior players, to uh, going down to school in the U.S. So right now we're looking at a bit of more of a rebuilding phase. Our top players in Victoria are in the under 15 and the under 13 category. That's where Kellen O'Neill and Grace Thomas come in. 11-year-old Kellen won the U13 division at the BC Open Junior Championship last month and is quickly becoming one of the top young players in the country. Right now his strengths are his tactical understanding of the game. He sees what's going on in the court and he's, he's got an ability that most kids don't have. If I see they're not fast right away, I take advantage of that. I try to look at their game to see what their weak and strong points are so I can kind of control it almost. Meanwhile, 14-year-old Grace is a relative newcomer to the sport, but has wasted little time placing herself in the top three of U15 players in the province. Grace definitely is she's starting to develop her power on the squash court. Uh, she moves extremely fast and she runs a lot on the game. Um, as soon as we start developing a little bit more finesse and touch in her game and her ability to, to close out rallies a lot faster, she's going to really start rocketing up. I think I could use a little more fitness and maybe just now this pair and a growing list of young stars at Cedar Hill are preparing to host the annual Pacific Northwest Jesters Tournament from February 17th to 19th, a competition that will bring some of the top squash players in the nation to Victoria. This will be the 43rd running of the event. They're going to be facing a little stiffer competition than the BC Junior Open this time. But that doesn't mean Cedar Hill's top prospects will be overlooked. I think if I just play well, keep myself disciplined, keep control of myself, and just do a good job, I think I'll do well. I think I'll do okay and maybe pull off a win. I think uh, getting some stuff for competition is going to prepare them for Junior Nationals, which comes up at the end of April. So four years of hard work, finally starting to uh, see the fruition of what we've been working for.